Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined virtually by Rachel Massini from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Rachel, the ground's getting a little warmer. We're starting to see some things come out and crawl around. And uh, unfortunately, the pests don't take a break from COVID-19. But what can we do in these days where normally you might have the pest company come in next to you, you walk around with them? What, are, what would we do? These Good question, Ray. I have been actually reaching out to some of the companies locally in New Hampshire and asking them that very question. What are they doing? What can they do with their clients to make things better during this um, try, trying time? And some of the companies are, again, they're addressing their, their work differently. They have to. You know, they're taking into account their, the safety of their employees as well as the clients that they serve. So there's a, a few things that they are working on right now. Um, for example, even if the label does not require them to wear respirators, they're wearing them just so they're not having that exposure to their clients as well as to other people in their um, establishment. They're wearing gloves more frequently and they're changing them out more frequently. When they can get their hands on them, again, we're seeing a um, <laughs> very um, limited supply of some of that personal protective equipment, same as in the medical field, the pesticide, um, and the um, landscapers use these things, so they're um, trying to get them. Yeah, normally, if you're the homeowner, you might walk around with them and point out some trouble areas, or they would, now you've got to keep your social distance. Does that present problems? It does, and so what they're doing now is they're doing a lot more um, through email, text messaging, phone calling, um, to report that they have an issue or if they're seeing problems. And most of the, the companies right now are doing exterior work, and they're only going into a home or a business if need be. And it's all based on individual situations. If I'm a homeowner and I wanna find out a little bit more about some of these guidelines, uh, what should I do? Well, a lot of these companies are following the same guidelines that CDC has in place. And so that's what they're working with. And um, again, their social distancing can be difficult, especially when you're in some of these, um, working for some of these businesses. So again, um, if you see a problem, reach out to your pest control company or your landscape company and discuss what you're seeing and they can address it. Okay, and hopefully have a pest-free uh, summer here. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.